What's up, guys? Corey Erdman here in the Fight Network studios, getting you up to date on everything in the world of boxing. And well, if you said you didn't want to see Canelo Alvarez face Joshua Claudi, you're in luck because you probably won't have to. Alvarez has decided to pull out of his recently scheduled December 6th date with Claudi on HBO, sending a lingering ankle injury as the reason. The matchup was to be Canelo's return to the network after spending the last two years fighting on Showtime, but the matchup itself was widely criticized. Claudi hadn't been seen on American television since a puzzlingly passive performance against Manny Pacquiao on HBO pay-per-view in 2010, and has collected just three wins since then over journeyman Calvin Green and Dashaun Johnson, and one over Anthony Mundine in Australia. Now, it may just be a coincidence, but the man most wanted Canelo to face instead, Miguel Cotto, also recently canceled a December return date. It is possible that the two could come together and negotiate a bout for early 2014. Though Cotto is effectively operating underneath his own banner, Bob Arum has handled the logistics of Cotto's fights in the same way Golden Boy does for Floyd Mayweather. And since Arum and Oscar De La Hoya are now best pals again and looking to show it off to everybody, what better way than to make a fight happen together on HBO? Now, De La Hoya's ally, but possibly now rival, Al Heyman, is again hard at work and has signed yet another international star, this time one of the biggest. Heyman has inked former flyweight and bantamweight title holder Koki Kameda to a contract and will have him make his U.S. debut on the November 1st Showtime card at the UIC Pavilion in Chicago, Illinois against Roberto Vasquez. That card is also headlined by his brother Tomoki. Now, Kameda is coming off a phone booth war over Zhang Osan last November, which was in stark contrast to his usual more technical performances. Koki joins his brother under the Heyman banner and looks to be a smart investment by boxing's biggest power broker. Heyman is rumored to have spent $20 million on a string of upcoming NBC dates. And the feeling within the boxing community is that he's going to go rogue and effectively run his own promotional outfit. Now, without knowing the specifics of the deal or if it's going to happen at all, it's impossible to accurately analyze it at this moment. However, if the purchase time on NBC is somewhat of a loss leader for the new outfit, then the money the Kamedas would bring in from TV rights in Japan could go a long way in terms of recouping costs. The Kamedas routinely draw some of the largest television numbers anywhere in the world for their fights on TBS in Japan, and if Heyman is getting even the tiniest slice of that pie, it's a wonderful investment. One of Heyman's clients seems to have his next opponent lined up, as up-and-coming junior middleweight Julian J. Rock Williams is reportedly in talks to face Jesus Soto Carras. The rumor is that this would be paired with a clash between Errol Spence Jr. and Josecito Lopez in a doubleheader of good step-up fights. Williams is coming off a tougher-than-expected win over Eliza Gonzalez on Fight Network and Fox Sports 1 during the midweek prelude to Mayweather Maidana 2. Prior to that, he had an impressive streak of knockout wins over tough gatekeepers, Orlando Laura, Freddie Hernandez, and Michael Medina. Some have suggested that J-Rock could be in line for a fight with Austin Trout next spring if he's able to get past Soto Carras. And of course, that's no foregone conclusion. Soto Carras was beaten conclusively by Devin Alexander and Keith Thurman in his last two outings, but those are two world title caliber fighters. However, if Carras has been eroded by a career of tough fights, especially recently, then a big, powerful puncher like Williams could prove to be a bad matchup. And finally, Matt Korobov actually has someone to face for the vacant WBO middleweight title. Both Frank Warren and Bob Arum have stated that Andy Lee will receive a second crack at a world title, with the fight possibly landing in the United Kingdom on December 13th. Korobov was originally slated to face Peter Quillen in Brooklyn later this year for the title, however, that fight fell through. The working theory is that since Rock Nation won the purse bid for the fight, and they are mortal enemies with Al Heyman, that Heyman pulled Quillen out of the fight completely, vacating the title. Both Billy Joe Saunders and Demetrius Andrade were offered the spot, with Andrade briefly accepting it before deciding to remain at 154 pounds to stay in the Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes instead. So Lee now receives the shot coming off what could be 2014's knockout of the year, a come-from-behind victory over John Jackson on the Miguel Cotto-Sergio Martinez undercard. There does remain an outside chance that the fight lands on the Timothy Bradley-Diego Chavez undercard in Las Vegas, but surely both fighters would prefer the percentage of the gate from a rabid UK crowd rather than a modest one at the Cosmopolitan. 
That's about it for today's boxing news. For more updates on the sweet science, be sure to log on to FightNetwork.com and follow us on Twitter at FightNet.